just watched a video where Hamza talks about he might be infertile. He might not be able to get children. He might not be able to reproduce. He might actually be infertile. And it really touched me a lot because like most of you watching probably, Hamza was is, is like our fucking father, right? He was like the one who, who started this movement, like for real. Of course, people always were doing this and trying to get a message out there, but he really implanted this shit into our minds. And this paints a bigger problem because if you've been following Hamza for a while, you know he speaks up about this. The problem is his doctors, they didn't see it as an issue because men's issues like this, they don't get nearly enough attention. Prostate cancer in comparison to breast cancer has like not even half as much funds. It is never talked about, like it feels like it's never talked about. Whereas breast cancer is funded through the roof, talked about all fucking year, like in prostate cancer awareness month, breast cancer is brought up. <laughs> and they have like purple toys for breast cancer awareness month. Bro, if you walk into Walmart and with Prostate Cancer Awareness Month, you see no blue toys, which is supposed to be this way. Because nobody gives a fuck. And get this, there's much more men that actually die of prostate cancer than women that die of breast cancer. And there's also men who can get breast cancer as well. Have you ever looked at breast cancer versus prostate cancer? Because prostate cancer, actually men are 35% times more likely to develop it than women are to develop breast cancer. I think it's one in eight women develop breast cancer and one in six men develop prostate cancer. And are also statistically much more likely to die of prostate cancer if they do get it. Men on average die five years sooner and breast cancer is the third most common cause of cancer. Prostate is second and lung is first. Yet you see governments funding the fuck out of breast cancer charities nearly double than that of prostate cancer even though it should actually be it should be the other way around because prostate cancer is a much bigger issue but to be honest bro like have you ever even heard of of anyone talking about prostate cancer because to be honest with you i, I didn't even know it was a huge issue i didn't know but i knew breast cancer was a huge issue and yeah both sides are important my mom actually died of breast cancer so obviously i'm 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 not saying we shouldn't fund both but there is a huge discrepancy that makes no sense and that shouldn't actually be there and the thing is the amount of funds that are double for breast cancer instead of prostate those are only donations by the government charity isn't even taken into account and if you know about charities Bro, you see breast cancer charity or awareness everywhere, all the time. Indie companies donate millions to billions of dollars to these charities. And how would they know otherwise? Because the publicity for prostate cancer is nearly non-existent. There is often male athletes in pink to support it. And female athletes also in pink to support it. Schools raise awareness for Breast Cancer Awareness Month but don't seem to do that for Prostate Cancer Awareness Month. An even more interesting part of this is men who develop breast cancer because they are able to develop breast cancer actually get turned down for screening just because they're men. Around 2,100 men a year develop breast cancer. These men, construction workers who just wanna get their breast checked out because it hurts, get turned down for screening because they're just men who don't have, who have below average social social communication skills or just in general because they're men and you know another there's another layer to this because if you look at breast cancer awareness ads on tv they're always using men as sloppy perverted clumsy dumb idiots and they also imply that women should all check themselves for it because all men are perverted creepy and weird and if you know this then you know th this this is actually a thing Look at any family show. Man is always a dumb, clumsy, bubbling idiot. And the, the, the wife is always, the female is always the put together, structured, informative and, and respectable person of, of the household. Look at friends. All the men are fucking idiots. And that's, this is on purpose. Because men get laughed at, men get made fun of and that's funny, you know? But the other way around, it's not funny. And to put this into perspective, bro, a man actually dies of prostate cancer every 15.6 minutes. 15.6 minutes, a man who just dies. 
because he couldn't get funding from some charity to have enough research to actually get his prostate cancer fixed. Just crazy. And this brings me back to the meta point, right? Hamza's infertility. Because, um, sure, like he, he got infertile and it sucks. But could have been prevented if the doctors actually went and looked this as a serious issue because he talked about some knot in his balls, in his ball sack, that he wanted to get checked out. But they all said, it's no problem, it's all good, it's all fine. Because there's no fucking research on this. They're like Nobody gives a fuck, you know what I mean? Nobody gives a fuck about men's infertility, even though their entire biological purpose of being alive depends on it. Hamza, man, I wish you only the best. I, I hope for you it gets resolved. I couldn't imagine hearing that. That would destroy my whole future planning because if you're a man and you want to get successful for who? For your family, in the end. Like, of course, yeah, you want to have fun, you want to fuck bitches. But at the end of the day, you want to be 40 and have a fucking tribe of your of your kids, of your DNA, so that they can do the same. What, are you going to be 80 with no, no kids and just party all, all night? Shut the fuck up. We want to find the best wife with the best genes, who has the best like history, who has the best tendencies to be a good mother, that's biologically inclined for us. And we want to reproduce as much as we can. So hearing that is detrimental for a man. And we got to see how he uh, how he recovers. So, bro, if you're watching this, be a homie, man. Check up on him. Leave some supportive comments. Because with all the masculinity, I know he needs those the most. And, um, you know, he gets those. He gets those. But I'm just saying, be strong, bro. If you liked this video, I do this kind of content for men. I help you to stop being a little bitch. So I want you to join my Discord if you liked this video. And I also offer coaching. It's also in the description. And I want you to do 50 push-ups right now. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Do it now, bitch.